that's it. Driving down a, a real steep embankment, you always want to pull over, check your brakes. Make sure a lot of truck drivers, I see them fly right past. They don't stop, they don't check their brakes. You definitely want to check your brakes. When you come off, as the signs say, reduce gear. Uh, today, I'm tapping out at about 79, 900 thousand pounds and we just gonna come off real slow we're gonna do this right when you come off you want to start off in a low gear somewhere around third or fourth gear you don't want to get your speed up to follow the speed limit if the speed is 20 miles an hour keep your truck at 20 miles an hour the advantage that we have today that the truck is old schools that I have we have Jake brakes <laughs> Jake brakes back then was like a luxury but right now we're on top of a mountain and we want to come off real slow. We have a brake check. You have to stop and you have to check your brakes. Some truckers ignore this, such as this guy just flying past right now. See how fast he's going? That's dangerous. This is a real steep grade. So we gonna do this the right way. I'm gonna walk you through it and let's, let's roll. We're gonna throw on my four ways. I'm coming off in third gear. As you said, it's side stop, check gear. This is very critical. This is life and death here. This is not a joke. This is not a game out here. This is serious. My brakes are working fine. I got out, I checked them. The tires are okay. We got an 8% 8, 8 downgrade, three mile hill, okay? You have to follow the protocols. I got my four ways on, I'm in third gear. Coming down the mountain, I have my jakes on, I have my crews on. Okay, we're going to keep the truck under 20 miles an hour. Okay, there's one coming up the mountain. Take it real slow. If somebody can hear me, let them go behind you. You drive the truck. Don't let the truck drive you. So as you see, the jake is starting to kick in now. Let the jake do the work. Now the purpose of the Jake is to take excessive work off the brakes. Okay, the Jake may not support the truck, but instead of you using a stand braking technique, the Jake is to take work off the brakes. So it's to save your brakes. Right now we're starting to get into a real steep grade here. It's starting to get real steep. I'm at 799 gross, and we're just taking our time. Show you my speed limit. Let me show you. I'm under 20 miles an hour. I got my four lanes on, and we're coming down the mountain right now, real slow. This is not a race. Take the time you want to live. People die out here. You can burn up your brakes. You can lose the power uh, stopping capability of your brakes, and you will go off the cliff. Take our time coming down the mountain. He coming down the mountain when he come. He be coming down the mountain when he come. He be coming down the mountain. He be coming down the mountain. He be coming down the mountain when he come. Now right now my Jake is doing most of the work. The Jake brake is a mechanism for those that don't know what it does. It, it like chokes the engine and it keeps the engine from speeding up. That's that real loud noise that you hear. Right now we're holding at 15 miles an hour. So we're five miles below the truck speed limit. And we're coming down the mountain. We're just taking our time. This is not a race. Okay, you don't have to hurry and get down the mountain. Now if you're empty, you can move a little bit faster. But with me having a gross vehicle of about 79,900 pounds, you know, I have to take my time. So I'm starting to speed up a little bit. I'm, I'm, I'm holding at like uh, 16 miles an hour. So the Jake Brake is doing a magnificent job. And to show you, there it is right there. Speed limit is still at about 15 miles an hour. And we're just taking our time coming down the mountain. Now as we get into this more of a steep grade, yes, the truck is going to start to speed up. This is where I utilize the brakes. I don't know if you can see way up there, so you got to slow that truck and move it. All right, so we're still under 20 miles an hour. Right now, I'm at about 17 miles an hour. So we got speed up, but the Jake is doing an 
awesome job. This is the reason why you have to start off slow. If you come down the mountain fast and you try to slow it down, you can burn your brakes up, the jakes may not work as effective, and you can lose your power and end up in a truck ramp or end up, you know, flipping over and doing some damage even worse than that. Out here is about safety. You have to be safe. As you see about a half a mile in front of me is a runaway truck ramp. So the runaway truck ramp is basically loose gravel. And when you run into the truck ramp, the truck basically sinks. That's how it, it slows you down. I'd rather hit a runaway truck ramp than to try to control the truck that's out of control going down the mountain and lose control and flip my truck over or even hurt myself or even kill myself. As of right now, we're still under 20 miles an hour. My Jake brake is doing an awesome job. It's, it's holding back the truck. I have my four ways on. As you see, there's cars going around me. There's no need to get into the hair. I have not touched my brakes not one time. I really have not. So my Jake is doing awesome. I'm not going to even touch the Jake. Some guys will uh will you know speed the truck up and before you know it they're in a real tough situation. Now I go from high to low. I'm at about 1500 RPM. Coming off real slow.
120 miles an hour. Jake Brick is still working. 